We got a pepper shortage. There's dogs everywhere. <laughs> <sighs> All right. How were the two connected? <laughs> <laughs>some would you rather here all right i'm not gonna play here. i mean i have some we're gonna play it in tomorrow all right hold on but i have a, some would breath. you rather's <laughs> scenarios that i have brought forward put your thing down flip it in reverse it all right would you rather uh-huh. turn into a dog and back every time you sneeze or turn into a buffalo and back every time you hiccup. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. Uh-huh. You hiccup a lot less than you sneeze. In terms of like, events. Yes. Like individual hiccup But events. when you hiccup. It can last a while. Yeah. Yeah. Hiccup and buffalo. I think Hiccup back. Hiccup buffalo. Hiccup back. You have to get someplace safe. That's the thing I was about to say. Can't be like, driving and get the hiccups. My biggest fear has just taken a huge turn. What is my biggest fear, Matt? Uh, car accidents, right? Yeah, yeah, a car accident from sneezing while driving. Like, that is my biggest fear. Yeah. Because you can't sneeze and not close your eyes. Right. You can't. Right. I can't tell you how many panic attacks I've already had. Oh no, like, oh no, here it comes, oh no. here it comes, here it comes. I'm gonna seize, I'm gonna seize, I'm gonna seize, I'm gonna seize. <gasps> okay, am we're I alive? Safe. Am I alive? We're okay. safe. I do the, the Did old I just cartoon. run a red light though? I do the old cartoon thing where you put it your finger work. in your nose. It works for me. It doesn't work. You put pressure on you the little also, bone in your nose stop. and it works. No, you also don't have a superpower to keep yourself from hiccuping. I absolutely so, do. No. I absolutely do. I absolutely do. I hiccup <laughs> one time. I think, hold on. I'm going to stop hiccuping. And I stop. Every Just time. Stop. Every time. <laughs> I don't believe you for a second. You're fibbing. I totally do. You're fibbing. Anyway. Um, okay. That was going to be my next thing is that you would, I feel like sneezing and becoming a dog, there would be less damage done to your surrounding area. Right. Then In a hiccuping. Spot. Yeah. yeah then driving. hiccuping and Becoming a buffalo. So I really think that the lesser of two evils here is to sneeze and become a dog. But it happens so much more often. But it doesn't. I sneeze. Like for the entire month of March, I'm probably going to be a dog because that's when (laughs) my allergies kick in. March and October, I'm a dog. But that's only two out of twelve months. The rest of the the rest of the year. See, I, I feel might like become I, a, I feel like a I dog. All the time. Here's the question, though, because you said hiccup buffalo, hiccup back. Yeah. Hiccup buffalo, hiccup back. Yeah. Okay, so you gotta sneeze evenly. Okay, so I would want to have to sneeze, have at, to least sneeze at least twice, twice or four times, but not once and not three times. Because <laughs> it's really hard to make yourself sneeze too. I mean, it's hard to make yourself hiccup. But. No. Nope. Listen, I'm just going to make sure that I'm like always wearing a necklace that like is, yeah, that's pepper or something so (laughs) that when I become a a dog, yeah. So that when I become a dog, Uh, but you're going to be a dog. Exactly. Yeah. So my necklace would then be my collar. Right. Got it. Got it. So yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I put way too much thought into this hypothetical question. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm saying yeah. sneezing in dog. I'm just like, neither one of those, you really have time to like get someplace safe. But the sneeze you can feel coming on and maybe you can, like if you're driving or whatever, you can pull over real quick or, you know, do something. Hiccups though kind of come out of nowhere. You don't feel them coming up on you. What if this was like a universal thing? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> turned into a dog when they sneeze. Can you imagine like just the the loads of cars right. that are going to be parked along the side? Oh, they're probably sneezing. I'm just thinking about like in this in this studio right here. If I sneeze and become a dog right here immediately, it's fine. No I'm big not deal. Mess up yeah. anything. If I sneeze and become a buffalo, this whole table flips on top of you. Yeah. Everything breaks. Uh-huh. Okay, so here's the thing. You don't necessarily have to have a pepper necklace or a pepper collar, right? Mm-hmm. You sneeze and become a dog, 
I'm walking over to you and I'm going to give you pepper to smell oh, to be you're gonna know. Yeah, it's not gonna exactly. be a thing. It's a universal secret. thing. <laughs> We're looking out for each other. We got each other's back. Instead of hand sanitizer everywhere, everyone's just gonna have walls of pepper. Just little, like, oh, yeah, little packets of pepper help that them out. they pull out of their pocket for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> we got a pepper shortage. There's dogs everywhere. <laughs> Oh, all right. How are the two connected? <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two. Would you rather be followed everywhere by someone playing the flute all the time? Okay. Or be jump scared once a day by someone playing a tuba? Golly. Not knowing when it's going to happen or where. <laughs> Just someone jumps out right in your face. So you'd always be like on edge, wondering when it's gonna happen, but eventually it does happen and you have the rest of the day, you know, it's not gonna happen. Okay, can I just tell you, like <laughs> as a child, I used to think that scaring my mom or my dad, specifically my my baby brother, was the funniest thing in the world. Oh, heck yeah. I loved it, yeah. I loved it. <laughs> but as an adult, like not only do I hate being scared, <laughs> but then I hate the person that I've become after I've been scared because immediately like I turn around, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why did you do that? You're one of those ah! people. Yeah, like you're one of the people that get mad when they get yes. scared. Yes, <laughs> I go into survival mode. Like you jump uh, out and you scare me. You're lucky I don't deck you in the face. Like, <laughs> let's just be clear that's here. That's not how I react at all. I almost pass that's out. That's how you're gonna die. I almost pass out and then I laugh forever. Yeah, see, that's how you're gonna die. <laughs> and then I feel like a big fat jerk for snapping at my kids mm -hmm. yeah. for doing exactly what Way I did as a kid. Fun. Yeah, I know, I know, but still, like it's just that natural reaction of what I do. Mm -hmm. So yeah, listen, as long as it's a good flute player, they can follow me around <laughs> all day long. Hey, that's just that's just some It'll... some lo-fi flute flute. Flute playing, it, help me get my work done. Listen, yeah, exactly. It it's just gonna be like my my life song. And a flute is a, a beautiful sounding instrument too. Yeah, but I would. I also feel like it's I would just lofty. I would be like dancing around <laughs> all day. <laughs> well, people would know there's a flute player behind you. How could you not, right? Yeah. Do, 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 uh -huh, right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I would love it. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely don't want to be on edge all day. When's the tuba guy coming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no. Slowly walking around, feeling around every corner. Is it tuba? Is it tubas are big. <laughs> Sling open doors. If you're in here, you're not scaring me. <laughs> just carry around one of those like uh, training baseballs that are on that rubber string. Just throw it everywhere around the corner. Bang, I've got bang, a bat bang. and Found I you. will use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, good. A flute. Fun stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep.